This video is for a Joy Plus Handy Boy. I have no idea how to put this. There is no game. This is going to be for an auction on eBay. There is no Game Boy included. This is my personal Game Boy. But I will show how this headaching thing was to hook up. You have to push this on up and on, up and in for this. The button has to basically be pushed here for it to work. This gets moves around. It's fine. You have to. This would close up. This would rise. It needs to be clean. You put your speakers. It would close up. You would take this thing and get this finagled. It's finagled underneath this power pack. And then you would take this wire. It goes into the side, and that is for. I believe for the light and this one is for let's see if I can get this to turn on because it is there's this now the problem with this is I believe it's broken inside here so see if you mess with it it's on it's off there's some problem in there now you see that's on the lights on it's on and you turn on your Game Boy. Turn on your Game Boy. Fool around with this wire here. It's headaching. You can hear it come on, and then it doesn't come on. Let's turn on this again. And this thing is a pain in the neck. I'm gonna turn it on and off because that will corrupt it. Did get this working. Let's try it again here. Check this out. Plug it back in. You can hear it if it's not working right. It's making a nice noise. So this thing is no good for me. Okay, Nintendo. This has to be fixed. I believe that somehow it's broken inside this power pack. When it works, it's not that bad, I gotta tell you. Well, I'm not even getting any luck. Tell what sound. It's pretty loud. Then you would say pressure start. I guess you put this down to make it bigger. You can raise this and put this in several different places. Get these hinges that should be moved up a little bit. It's loud. Works when it. You get this plug in there just right. It needs to be repaired. You can see how this, this has to be in there just right for this to work. You have to get the prong stuck in behind that power pack. And it's just headaching. Now, you can see how the wires go where everything goes. That goes there. It's still on. It's still playing. Unfortunately, if it wasn't broken right there, this thing would work fine. I don't see a way opening that up to fix that. That would be probably soldered. And then you can turn the light off. And then you can turn that off in the Game Boy will work from the power pack on the back if it's plugged in. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. No Game Boy is my Game Boy is not included. So this will need repair. Also comes with this USB to USB wire. I would plug into the top or something. It comes with the power supply too.